What is up guys, it is Heart77 here, and this is episode 5 of Road to Glory, and as you can see right now, I'm going to continue building my Nigerian team, uh, starting off with the right back, who looks to have really good stats for a bronze, um, 79 pace I believe, shiny, so it looks pretty cool, um, and also fits in, obviously, with the Nigerian theme. And then I also I'll go into the market again, um, try and look for a centre midfielder, but then realise I don't really need any more. I mean I'm only going for um, a chemistry boost, so I look for a striker again as um, Odijayi is still injured, um, where he picked up an injury in the last episode, and just find um, a quick striker. I believe he has 84 pace um, for 1,500. But then realised um, he's way overpriced for that, so um, I'll just go into a game and try and raise some more money um, just to pick up, you know, some more players to improve the team and to continue building the team. So I play up, um, come against a silver Spanish side, and to be honest, they do look really good. Um, I like the Spanish silver look; it's almost like the new Brazilvers, I believe. Um, like FIFA 11, um, I had a Brazil team, spent quite a lot of money on them, but um, this year I'm actually enjoying the Spanish. I've made up a couple of teams, and I may actually make um, a Spanish silver in this episode. But um, this is starting off with the first goal, um, nice movement, a ball over the top, and then Eli. Oh, I can't pronounce any of these names. It's pretty embarrassing, but Eliaku. I believe <laughs> it looks like there's a nice little chip over the keeper, so that's to make it 1-0. And to be honest, this is not an action-packed um, game apart from the last dying seconds, but he comes back with a bit of a P-roll of the goal, takes it around my keeper with Ricky, and um, sort of, it's almost like a drilling shot, but just a uh, slow P-roll into the middle of the goal. So then we go into half-time, um, waiting for him as I did all game so as you can see they have one all but he's just one of them um, players that you come up against that pause it constantly throughout the match I mean he used up all these pausing options um, in the first and second half so I was just waiting around this game probably took half an hour I'm not even joking and I clicked it down into about three minutes so I'm sorry that I didn't show much of the highlights um, just the goals but I will in the next episode probably uh, put in two games, but I'm also showing you the trading side of the team and just showing how I'm building it as well. So as you can see, after waiting um, until the zero seconds, until it reaches zero seconds, he finally makes his substitution. Um, but that doesn't matter. As you can see here, into the 90th minute, I do a nice overhead kick, flick on, and then ball over the top, and then another ball over the top of the keeper, a little chip from my silver. Um, striker that doesn't actually fit in with the Nigerians but I did um, earn the achievement Rude Boy you know a bit of Rude Van Esteroy there um, nice finish so that is 2-1 at the end of uh, the match which felt really good for me as um, as I said he was just constantly pissing me off pausing it um, waiting until like on the half time waiting until zero seconds and watching all three replays I mean he probably was just doing it on purpose but still there is no point of doing that. I mean, it's not like you've done an amazing skill or scored an amazing goal to watch all the replays. So, as I said, revenge was pretty sweet by getting a win right at the end. Um, as you, right now, the whistle goes. End of the match. Um, two one. As I've already talked about, not a lot of action, so pretty hard to commentate over this. But this is the main bit of the episode, I believe. Um, the guy, the striker I was looking for at the beginning. He wasn't even in my formation, and he was 1,500. Uh, I managed to pick him up for 250 coins, which is an absolute bargain. I'll be able to send for a profit more, but we'll probably actually um, just keep him. So, as I said, this is the main bit of the episode, um, and we are actually approaching the end. I'll show you a quick glimpse of the team. But um, sorry, it's a short episode. Thank you for watching, guys, and um, please subscribe for daily content although I haven't posted in um, the last uh, few days as uh, I actually went to the Amex to watch the um, Brian 
a Newcastle game. I don't know if you uh, know they played in the FA Cup fourth round. Um, luckily, I went for free with my mate because uh, he has season tickets, um, a free course meal, um, etc. So I went and watched them. Great at atmosphere. And we beat the little Geordies, um, who are all getting, you know, cocky and Larry in their own uh, box, uh, swearing at us and stuff. So it just felt brilliant to beat them 1-0. Although I don't have a problem with them, to be honest. More so the Mank fans. No offence. But as I've said now, finally, is the end of the episode. That is the team so far. And uh, look forward to tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching and adios. Da, da, da. Amigos.